Okay guys, we're here talking with the DDJ SZ and the jog wheel sensitivity issue. So right here, at uh, first they were saying, you know, use more fingers, whatever. Now they're saying, a sim you know, that there's a problem. The symptom that the jog wheels do not respond. They've identified the jog wheels on some of them. DDJ SZ units may not respond to touch depending on how users touch them. Fuck you guys. I had my fingers all over those fucking things. They just didn't work. But whatever. Sorry. I don't really mean fuck you guys. You make all right shit, but you fucked up this one. So you go to this link. Wait for your slow ass internet to get rolled up. And pick your country, wherever the hell you happen to be. So in Canada, we have local number 905 if you're out of the Toronto region. We have a toll-free number, and then you have a link that takes you over to their shit. And they tell you they're committed to bringing uncompromised loudness. Uh, whatever, man. You're just another business. And you know what? You picked a factory to build your big SZ, and you picked the wrong fucking factory. You should have picked the factory where the SX was being built. Because there's no issues. But you cheaped out. And you took the fucking knobs up because you said you have a better technology. Well, so far, there's issues with the SB. Well, yeah, some SBs, the SR has issues because the same shit. Because you went cheap. So, um, yeah, there, uh, huh. There's another number. SF Marketing is a preferred distributor. So you could go right through to the distributor and say, hey, but I wouldn't. I'd go straight to Pioneer. They say they're taking care of it. Let them take care of the ship. So that's all I've got to say with that. Um, uh, there's a couple other things I'll, I'll probably mention. You know what? From my using the, the SZ, I think it's a ground issue because when you touch the metal part, like the actual top plate with one hand while you touch the platter, it fucking works. Coincidence? I don't know. But generally that sounds like some kind of an internal ground -in issue. I'm no fucking engineer by no means, but I'm just saying. Kind of fucked up. Um, yeah, I can't really think of any other issues with that thing because... Uh, like I said, the oscillator effects, there's going to be some smart, creative people that find some cool way to use it. I'm not one of those guys, man. That's uh, old school fucking pyramid bullshit mixer trick. And uh, it wasn't cool then. It doesn't feel cool to me now either. Color effects. Oh, yeah, the post fader thing. That's the other part. Um, you don't have post fader effects on your Serato effects. Which is kind of bizarre, man, because for me, that's kind of the way it mixed. So, yeah. They say they're not going to fix that. We'll see. That's all I have. So, yeah. All you SZ guys, you get on here. Send your units in. Let them fix them. Do whatever the fuck you're going to do to them to fix them. But get your shit fixed, man. You don't want to rely on that touchy fucking wheel. That sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm out.